Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Man, guys, the year is winding down and we are looking forward to a new year. Guys, 2025 is coming fast. Wise investors are gonna be looking ahead. I've got two fantastic, amazing, I mean, these, these stocks are awesome buys today and they're using artificial intelligence. As y'all know, artificial intelligence has blown up this year. It's expected to continue blowing up next year. So let's jump in and take a look at these two fantastic stocks. All right, guys, so I'm gonna give you those two stocks. But guys, 2024, it's nearing its end. And investors should evaluate fresh opportunities for the coming year. And that's exactly what we're gonna be doing in this video. The S&P 500 was up nearly 21% this year, exceeding historical average annual return of 10.5%, almost double double exactly double the uh, the re the average return which is absolutely amazing artificial intelligence ai has dominated the market in 2023 and it's continued to thrive in 2024 with broader adoption across industries so when it comes to an investment focus ai related stocks are poised guys for continued growth heading into 2025 let's look at that first stock crowdstrike the ticker is CRWD. Now, don't click off the video because some of y'all are like, CrowdStrike? Like, didn't I hear about them in the news just a few weeks ago? Yes, you did. Let me explain. So, CrowdStrike, or, CrowdStrike is a cybersecurity leader. They faced a significant setback after a July 19th, 2024 software update error. The corrupted software update crashed over 8.5 million customer computers causing an estimated $5.4 billion in damages and a 36% drop in CrowdStrike stock. Boom. So why are you talking about it, Nolan? Well, I think there's a potential bounce back that's gonna happen in 2025. CEO George Kurtz reassured investors that the impact was not as severe as initially feared, leading to a recovery in the stock price. CrowdStrike's Falcon platform, guys, is a comprehensive solution that covers cloud networks, identities, endpoints, and more using AI to power automated threat hunting and response. I think that CrowdStrike is gonna make a big comeback in 2025, that the, the issue that hit the news wasn't as bad as everyone thought at first. And I mean, just look at the way they're integrating AI. Falcon is enhanced by AI models that are trained on over 2 trillion security events daily. They use something called Charlotte AI, which is a virtual assistant that streamlines investigations and improves efficiency, saving users an average of two hours per day. And they've got strong business growth. And that's why, guys, when you're looking at stocks, you can't pay too much attention to what's happening in the news. You got to look at the fundamentals. You got to look at the structure, right? And they've got great business growth. Look at this. 65% of customers use at least five of Falcon's 28 modules with a 66% year-over-year growth in customers who are using eight or more. They had $3.8 billion in annual recurring revenue as of Q2 2025, and management is aiming for $10 billion in revenue by 2031. Like I said, the stock has been in recovery mode. CrowdStrike stock hit $299 on September 20th, 2024, but it's still trading 23% below its all-time high. So here's the opportunity, guys. Current stock price is going to offer a potential entry point ahead of a strong 2025 recovery. I think the stock is going to really take off big, and I think right now, even though they've already recovered a good bit, this still is a great entry point if you're looking to get into CrowdStrike. Again, guys, at the end of the video, I'm going to tell you what I'm doing with both of the companies we're talking about today. Um, but also guys, leave a, leave a like if you don't mind. Uh, it'll support the channel. Really appreciate everyone for helping out the channel. Subscribe if you're interested in more videos like this. Let's talk about that second stock, guys. Ready or not, here it comes, and it is Spotify. You're know, like, Spotify, isn't that just like a music like, company that, you know, what, why is that, why are you talking about that on an AI video? Let me explain. Spotify holds a 31.7% share of the global music streaming market far ahead of Tencent Music's 14.4%. And it's driven 
by AI innovation. People miss this a lot. They've recently, look at some of the things they've got. Recently, they launched an AI DJ, which gives you personalized playlists with voiceover commentary that learns individual preferences. How cool is that? They've got an AI playlist tool, which creates custom playlists based on user input, such as the user's emotions and the user's locations. Wow, that means like if you go to a different place, maybe you're on vacation or whatever, then the AI will pick up on that, realize that, and will offer you different playlists that you would like in different settings. They are also using AI in advertising. Spotify's quick audio tool allows businesses to generate scripts and voiceovers for ads quickly, reducing time and costs. And they've had a lot of user growth. Financial performance is outstanding. Look at their user base. 626 million monthly active users in Q2 2024, which is a 14% increase year over year. Their premium subscribers, 246 million paying users, which exceeds management's expectations. And their premium user account, premium users account for 88% of their total revenue. So definitely this company is built on the premium package. All right, they've got ambitious long-term goals and that's what I love to see with a company. Their goal is 1 billion users. They aim to reach a billion monthly active users by the year 2030. And their target is $100 billion projected to reach that target by 2032, driven by user growth and price increases. Let's talk about that stock valuation though. Um, The current stock price is trading near its all-time high from 2021, but their price to sales ratio is at 4.7, which is still 28% below the peak of 6.5, despite strong revenue growth since 2021. So with long-term revenue and user growth potential, Spotify guys does present upside potential for 2025 and beyond. And I think that that's a reasonable entry point at 4.7. Now guys, let me explain what I'm doing with both of these stocks. So first of all, CrowdStrike, I haven't bought in on this one yet. All right, it's on my radar, love the company, fantastic buy. Um, I have not bit the bullet and added it to my portfolio. I only buy one stock every week, and so it's just been kind of pushed back every single week. I don't know when I'm gonna buy in on CrowdStrike or even if I'm gonna buy in on it. Spotify, I'm already in on. I already own Spotify stock. And guys, if you're interested in what stocks I am buying, subscribe to the channel, guys, because I post a video every week telling you exactly what stock I am buying that week. But the growth in AI, guys, across industries is expected to persist, making companies like CrowdStrike, Spotify appealing for investors. Both stocks have strong recovery, have had a strong recovery. Both have great growth trajectories heading into next year providing compelling investment opportunities for those that are looking to capitalize on AI-driven trends. But guys, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, leave a comment down below, let me know what you think, and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. I'll see you again tomorrow with another video. Take it easy and peace.